Hi and uh, welcome to another Hopper on 6502 video. Um, this one's actually on the 6507. Um, this is a little board called the 65 Uino and if you're interested in uh, you know 6502 retro and you've been living under a rock um, then you might not have heard of Anders uh, Nielsen's little device. Um, so abnielsen.com and I'll put that in the description and I'll link to his um, YouTube channel as well. Anyhow, what I'm going to do in this, uh, this is going to be a little playlist uh, focused on this device and this is the introduction to that playlist and uh, the first video will show you how to um, download how to get the Hopper 6502 assembly toolchain and how to get it installed on your Windows machine and get up and running. Um, and then the next video will uh, give you a little walkthrough on how to get your first program um, assembled and onto this device. Um, and then I'll probably follow up with some subsequent ones which will show a little bit more about the features of the assembly, the assembler and also um, explore more features of the 65 Duino. But for now, it'll just be getting up and running. Um, if you want to know what the Hopper 6502 assembler is all about, um, I'll link to a video at the end of this, um, which talks about why this 6502 assembler is different to other 6502 assemblers, well, the whole tool chain. Um, it's done in the context of the uh, 8 bit force retro shields, but it still applies to the uh, 65 Arena as well. It talks more about the features of the assembly toolchain. Alright, let's move on to the next one.